with that footage of you watching Aretha sing at the Kennedy Center in 2015, I want to ask what was going through your head. It's almost a superfluous question because we can see it all over your face. I want footage. to know that too. I want to know that too. Okay. I can take you through it because the very first thing I see her come out wearing the mink and that's, <laughs> oh, yeah, that's Aretha. You know, Aretha took her inspiration from those gospel singers and she came out in the mink and I was like, okay, well, that's cool. And then she sat down at the piano. Now, she had not been playing piano in her later life as much as she used to. You know, correct me if I'm wrong, but that was my impression. And when she sat down to the piano, you see me turn. And I, my daughter, Sherry Condor, who is also my manager now, she was there with me. And I said, she's playing. In the soul, in the I was knocked out. I could not wait to hear her play because I know what a great player she is and the fact that she was doing it that night. And then everything went up and up and up and she gets to some of these notes and then she gets to, you make me feel so alive. <laughs> And I'm like, oh, my God, oh, my God. You know, <laughs> ah. it, that was the kind of experience I was having because she was just giving her all in a way I had not seen her give in a long time. And Aretha's, if she gave this much, it would be more than most people would be giving on their best day. That was my reaction to it. And then, you know, of course, she drops the mink, which my friend heard from her place in the orchestra. I was in the balcony. She heard it go, thud. <laughs> and it was just a love fest. I didn't get to see her after the performance. I did have dinner with her the night before. And then later I read an article in which she said she was doing it for me, which blew me away. <laughs> 